Bonjour, no agents, and welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. What have I been doing since last episode? Well, I'm making steel. So how do you make steel dibs? It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So first of all, I'm going to quickly talk you through it. So to play catch up with what I'm doing right now. Okay, so what you do is in your smeltery, you get aluminium, uh, which looks like this in my texture pack. Um, some of this stuff. So you get, like, you put three aluminium into your smeltery and one copper. I'll do that once, maybe twice, probably once. And once you do that, you get uh, aluminium brass or aluminium brass. And then what you do is you put an ingot, it doesn't matter which one, in there. And then you pour the brass, okay? And then it makes a mould, which you get the iron cast, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So once you put the once you've got the you put the aluminium three aluminium in there so one two three one copper let that burn up in here and then you put an ingot in here it can be iron it can be gold it can be anything you want as long as it's an ingot shape and then you uh, right click that and you put, it goes around the molten um, brass goes around the ingot and you can take your ingot out and it leaves that that's what you see. Okay, when you take the ingot out, it's all done. So look at that, iron cut, uh, ingot cast. So now we've got the ingot cast. That's going to come in handy later. That's not necessarily needed, but um, yeah, um, it will be when we actually know. Yeah, not this one in particular, but we're going to need um, some casts. So without further ado, what we need to do is we need to find our stencil thing pattern, and we need to find the. Uh, pickaxe head because what I plan to do today is I'm, I plan to make a steel ingot. Now how do you make steel? This is how you make steel, let me just find it. You need the steel dust, this is the easiest way of doing it, right? It's a colour, that one, that, that mod, right? So all you do is surround a bit of iron with four bits of coal and you get the dust and then you cook the dust and you get this, the Tinker's Construct steel ingot, piece of cake, that's easy peasy to get. Okay, so it's really cheap. So let's just get the uh, pickaxe head. So we need to make that pattern anyway at some point. There we go. There's the pickaxe head. And what we want to do is we don't want to make it out of anything in particular. We want to try to just probably make it out of some stone or cobble. So we go to the part builder and stick that in there like so. And we're going to make a stone pickaxe head. Now the reason we're only making the stone one and not um, the trouble is with stone, everyone knows that stone in Minecraft does not uh, um, mine much. It kind of goes up to iron and that's pretty much it. Now you might be thinking, Dibs, what is the purpose of making your pickaxe? You've got a sapphire pickaxe, you know, why don't you just enchant that? Well, the reason being is I want to be able to make a pickaxe that can be easily repaired and plus, um, like constantly and and easily enchanted to an enchant that I require. Now with vanilla enchants you, you get a random chance of getting that particular one, right? But if I use Tinker's Construct I can literally um, get the enchant that I want straight away. Okay, so I'm going to put the pickaxe head in there, the stone one, and this is where the brass stuff comes in handy. Just for just, I know I've already I had like extra here, so I poured it out into the cast um, and made the aluminium brass ingots. Um, what I'm going to do just for test, just to show you, is probably I don't know if that's going to be enough. Yeah, I think that might be enough. I'm just going to show you what I mean. So this is how you would make any uh, brass or uh, iron uh, metal cast, right? Now the casts are for metal based tools only, um, anything below a metal will pretty much be used over there on the normal casts or templates or whatever you want to call them. So yeah, pretty much I'm just going to wait for this. So what I'll do is I'll be right back once it's cooked. Okay so we're all cooked, we're all ready to go, we're pretty much ready to pour it once again. And we pour it around the stone. 
because I think I don't know if wood will work in there. I think it'll probably just technically it should burn. And we've got a bit of excess left. We've still got three left. Now this is what I mean by getting the extra. So what we do is go and grab that cast once again. Okay. Uh, we're going to need this again in a second. So go grab the iron cast, and all you want to do is rather than let that sit in your smeltery, we can pour it out into singles. So we haven't got enough for a block. So we'll just make the ingots, we've got three left. So now I've got ten, ten spares in total, but it's not a problem. I can always melt it back down again. And there we go. So that's pretty much that. Now, assuming that I've got the iron and then the four bits of coal and made the steel, the steel ingots by cooking them in a, a regular furnace, what we're going to do is we're going to smelt some of this. And once again, I'll be right back because it's going to take about a minute or so. Okay, so the molten steel is now in there and now we can pour the steel to make the, the head that we want and we're going to pour that in there like so. And there we go. We have a steel pickaxe head. That is... Um, that's, that's basically enough to make... Uh, uh, to get to diamonds, so that's 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 perfect. That's what we want. So, what shall I make the the binding out of? I think I'll make the binding out of stone, and I will make the um, let's pull that in there for a sec. Make some steel ingots. I will literally make the where is it? Where's my chest? I'm gonna make the binding because we're gonna have a, have a tall binding, and we're gonna have a rod. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably grab some sticks or a stick. That will do. And um, we've got some cobble on us, that's fine. Nothing major, nothing, just something to just do the job, if that makes sense. So, what we want to do is we want to make the parts that we need. So, we're going to need a stick for the handle. All I want is, that's got to be right, surely. All oh, right, yeah, probably need two, just like you normally would. And, yeah, so it's nothing fancy, nothing majorly cool. It's not the best tool ever made. Um, but this is going to get the job done, he says. Oh, it's a tough pattern rod. Okay. Okay, this, this. Can we just do this? No? What about this? Okay. So, what we need to do is make yet again another. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah, tall rod pattern. So, this is. There's, be careful because this, this looks confusing. They look the same, but they're not. They're actually not. So what we want to do is put that there, and then what we need also is we need to make one of these. Okay, we need three of them. As you see it says material costs three, you need three cobblestone. So always bear that in mind as well, totally forgot about that. Okay, let's put that in there and that in there, so we've got loads of patterns. So, I'm just going to put the cast away. We're pretty much set ready to go to make our pickaxe. So what we want to do is click the pickaxe here and then we want to put all the relevant pieces in the correct place. So nothing great. Oh, what's going on here then? Oh, that's a tough binding. Like I said, uh, be careful. Uh, as you can see, I've slipped up twice there. Let's see if I can get a normal binding. I think that's a tough one. Oh, there it is tool binding, there we go. So let's just throw that away, let it despawn, it's only stone. Okay, so let's get the normal tool binding because that's what we want to do. There you go, and it's only a material cost of 0 0.5 which leaves this 0 0.5 shard here. Um, it's up to you whether you want to keep them. Probably just put that in there, uh, put that in there, you know what I mean, just a little uh, box full of gump that in there. Okay, I think we're all set to go. Okay, and then what we do is go back to the pickaxe again and try one more time. This should work. Ah, it would work if we actually made all the all the correct stuff. I'm totally balls in this right up. Okay, where's the other one? Okay. And what did I what was I gonna make this one out of? Oh I did I did make it, sorry. I've, I thought I did. I thought I didn't make that. I, I swear I did. I was um, distracted by the shard. Okay, then we go, and we go. No, we want that one, the thinner one. Okay, so we've got 
a um, steel head pickaxe ready to go. Now what we want to do is we want to click on this this anvil one, the very first icon here. Put your pickaxe there, and now we can modify it three different times with three different like um, like little perks, if you will. Okay. So one of them, my my main one is lapis. Now lapis in in the world of Tinker's Construct brings luck, which basically you can go up to 450 which is fortune right luck on Tinker's Contract is fortune so what we want to do is just turn them into blocks because it makes life easier for you otherwise you've got to do it like 450 times so now that's 9 and 9 that's 18 that's a potential 18 at a time so you just go like that like that like that and like that we haven't got that much lapis, so I unfortunately I can't really do much with it. Right, next thing we want to do, definitely, without a doubt, is make this faster. Now, we can use redstone for that. Now, redstone increases the speed and gives it, wrong one, gives it haste, okay? So we've got one more modifier remaining, but there is certain things that can give us an extra modifier. So we're going to not, we're going to use this one very wisely. So for now, we're going to just have... Um, haste, it can go up to 50. Okay, as you can see, it wouldn't let me because it goes over 50. So, can we do that? I think that's as far as we can go. That's perfect. Oh no, it's 45. So, what we want to do is we want to grab one of these blocks, turn it into singles, and then go. This is what I mean by putting it into blocks because otherwise, you have to keep doing this. Now that should have a haste of 50 and a slight amount of luck to it. Nothing major. So now this this has got a chance to make sure that we can... I'm going to put that in there for now. So we don't have an... I mean we've got luck but I think we're only going to have like fortune 1 on it. And that's all good but when you're diamond hunting you want to get more right. So what we want to do is we want to use this normal one and kind of go and find some lapis. Now a good way, and I'm not even kidding you, right? A good way of um, getting your lapis in in Feed the Beast Monster is the Nether. And I'll show you in a second once I get in there. Let's have a look. Now once you get into the Nether, look around and be careful. Oh, for fire bats. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, what's going on? I'm glitching. Let me just uh, quickly back to game. F3 and A. Can I sleep? Can I only sleep at night. Okay. I'm glitching out. Two secs. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, yeah, my world was glitched. It was a bit weird. Um, the, the fire bat ruined everything. So watch out for fire bats. Now, as I was saying, when you get into the nether, right, make sure that you're as tough as possible because the last thing you want to do is be doing what I'm about to do now and get killed because I think there's a high chance of it happening so when you do this make sure there's no pigmen around if you're not that well equipped now you should be able to get your power armor um, powerful enough to be we have us to be we able to withstand um, zombie pigmen zombie pigmen is going to be your worst nightmare in the nether when you're doing what I'm going about to do now, so we're going to use our our luck, our fortune pickaxe. There's my hammer. I don't want to lose that, even though it's cheap. I think I've lost something. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so I'm looking around. No zombie pigmen, right? Let's take this. Now you can hear them, right? You can hear the zombie pigmen really angry. Now there is a chance I could have set some off that I haven't seen yet. Um, but I'm going to take that chance and if one starts attacking me I'm going to literally jump out of the way I'm going to take some of this mim shite as well and uh, we don't need sulfur and go to the nether and grab all these lapis blocks the only trouble is pigmen don't like it when you uh, take some of their blocks right so because it's part of the nether ores mod and it's always made the pigmen aggro on you if you start taking some of those blocks so what we want to do is test it out hopefully he's not aggroed I don't think he is um, 
if I start taking blocks near him, he will aggro. Uh, let's double check. There's no more down there. There's too many pigmen down there for a start. Now, okay. So in a lapis, in a lapis block, you get what five, maybe seven tops. I'm not 100% sure, but you want to check this out, right? So this is how you get your lapis, and this is how you get a lot of it. You got to go and farm it from the Nether, obviously. The Nether ores are the best because you get a hell of a lot more. Uh, am I out of power again? What? Okay, something's not quite right here. Hmm. I'm out of power again. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and top that up. Um. And I'm going to show you a sec. I'm going to like literally stop everything in a second and stop what it's doing, and I will show you. Okay. Why well, are you not working? There's no reason why you shouldn't be working. Hmm. Be right back. Okay, so I found exactly what the problem is, and the Aquarius accumulator is not no longer there. I think that should be enough to hydrate it. There we go. We should be getting power now. Totally forgot that we used it on the ste on the scarecrow. So I've decided, yeah, okay, we come back to that later, and we we use it for the uh, power source, not the scarecrow, because yeah, um, power is a bit more important than uh, scaring crows that don't even exist in the mod pack, right? So, yeah, it makes total sense. Okay. Have I got any coal in here? I have. Got actually, more coal than I expected. A zombie after me. Okay. And let's go and go back to the plan at hand. Okay. What have we got in here? Cooking. Okay, let's take that out. And take that out. We've got lots of this abyssal stone going on. So what we want to do is just cook up some of this. Let's get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. Nothing else in the chamber? No. So what we're gonna do is get this nether um lapis. Now look, you're gonna get lots per block, right? Now you're gonna get twenty-four in one block. Now if you were to go in the Overworld, you would get nowhere near that. I'm not sure what exactly you've what seven, eight tops. We're getting 24 a, a, a pop here, so yeah, it definitely works out much, much better. So, so far, so good. We are got a stack of um, lapis right there. So, let's turn it into blocks. And let's go and upgrade our pickaxe some more. So yeah, that's a neat little trick for you guys. Just in case you didn't already know that, that's the best way to get your tools um, with fortune on it, or or luck, or what's the other one? Looting on a sword. If even on a sword, it will work. So we're not even going to max this out. We're not even halfway yet pretty much but you get the idea so what I can do off off camera is, is probably go and get some more of that nether that that stuff so that's pretty lucked out though that's that's pretty good um, let's have a look see how much it's got now 159 so almost approaching halfway so we definitely got fortune one that's for sure so it's whether we got fortune two but um, yeah that will be in for another day I'll probably do that off camera you can just take my word for it but it does work um, as you just saw, if you pulverize it, you get um, you get twice like twice the fun, as they say, or a lot more fun out of that. Actually, it is is actually quite um, you know it's it's quite profitable by doing it like that. So yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. We've finally got a better pickaxe, so now I can off camera start getting better, like more diamonds. I can go hunting for it. And uh, yeah, so every time I mine one, I've got a chance of getting more. And what I want to do is the reason I want diamonds so badly is my next stage is I want to head towards 
Um, I'm going to type lasers. And I'm going to put in brackets build craft. Because we want lasers for build craft for a specific reason is later on we want to make a quarry plus. Because my quarry is good but my, the quarry plus is 10 times faster and it's a lot better. Um, but we might need to uh, do a couple of other things in, in the meantime like um, increase power um, stuff like that because that quarry plus will eat power like it's going out of fashion and I'm not even joking so we need a place to store it so another thing that we can do is make um, have we got energy storage uh, I'm gonna put energy energy storage here Well, no, let's make a power room. Call it power room and storage. Stroke storage. Power room stroke storage. Because we need to, um, yeah, we need to sort that out. So we've got loads, of do loads to do. It's just a case of what order to do them in. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do lots and lots of gathering off camera. So. In between episodes, you'll see you'll see a lot more resources coming in and stuff like that. You'll be like, "Well, Dibs, you have been collecting some resources off camera," and I'll be like, "Yeah, like a boss." So it just basically saves you guys seeing all the boring crap, you know, because me going to gra gathering the resources, you've done it before, you've seen it before, you kind of know it. It's, you want to see the nitty gritty of all the little mod things and stuff like that at the end of the day, and yeah, that's hopefully I'm going to cut out all the boring stuff. Um, guys, that's it for today. Um, don't forget like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next episode of Feed the Beast Monster. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and uh, maybe uh, work towards another episode. So, yeah, thanks for watching.